You can tell it, I want this conversation of this person talking in the style of cyberpunk. And then it will give you exactly that. And it just skins everything it is that you see. It'll change the background. It does literally everything. That's wild. Yeah, the future of this is gonna be nuts. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up, Think Media? Omar Altakori here. And I'm so excited to talk about five AI tools that will blow up your workflow, make your videos more interesting. I have with me Nick Nimmin, YouTube expert, content creation expert. He's been dabbling and more than dabbling, like genuinely using some AI tools. And the first one being Kyber. What is Kyber? Yeah, so with Kyber, um, it allows you to upload videos into their service. And when you upload it into their service through prompting, you can change the video that you upload into anything that you want. So the way that I've been using it is I've been using it for music videos, just as a fun project because I make music on the side. Um, I've been using it to make some of you know my videos, you know. Uh, that have some AI, you know, stuff in there yeah. too. Um, just to, uh, you know, make everything just a little bit more creative and make it a little bit different. Like if we took this conversation, yes, and then you uploaded this into Kyber, then you can tell it, I want this conversation of this person talking in the style of cyberpunk, and then it will give you exactly that. And it just skins everything it is that you see. It'll change the background. It does literally everything. And, and what it is that you see in the video, it puts a skin over top of it and makes it something that uh, really, really stands out. That's really cool. Is there a cost to this one? Yeah, all of these come with a come with a fee. Um, that's just how you know the AI tools sure. are rolling right now. Yeah. But yeah, this particular one does come with a fee. I can't remember what it is off the top sure. of my head, okay. but it does come with a fee. Yeah, and we'll link up everything down in the description. The next one you mentioned was called Runway. Yeah, so with Runway, um, it's similar to Kyber. Um, they do have where you can upload videos there as well and you can turn them into something, but Runway itself has an entire suite of video tools. Mm. So let's say that you want to remove yourself from a background, but you don't want to go through the process of you know masking everything out and motion tracking and all that. You can upload your video into Runway and it will completely remove you from the background, even if you're not in a green screen or anything like that. You can change your background into anything that you want or have yourself pop up or do you know, any use case that you want yeah. to use it for. And in addition to that, let's say that you're making a video of a vehicle driving down the street that you could use for B-roll and it will just make it. That's wild. Which is incredible. If you want to amplify that and make it look even better, then you can start with something from Mid Journey, just an image, and then you load that image in there, and then it'll make the video based off of that image you generated as well. That's wild. Yeah, it's insane. When you I, see it in action, yeah, yeah, it just blows you away. Like every time I use it, I'm thinking to myself, like, like I, I, I can't even believe you know what it is that I'm seeing. Sometimes it's yeah. crazy. Not don't need it a green screen, right? Don't need perfect lighting, right? Even if you just took a moment of your video just to take yourself out, and maybe you could put text behind you. If you ever wondered how to put text behind you in a right. day gone by, that was hard. You know, right. you had to do what you said. You know, key yourself out, mask it, and all that stuff. And if you don't even know what that means, you don't need to anymore, right? Because of AI, and that's runway. The next one you talked about is Tube Spanner. So with Tube Spanner, it's also you know workflow related. So with Tube Spanner, they have a AI script writing tool. So for people that don't know how to write scripts yet, or people that are like, man, I, I, I want to make a video about this thing, but I don't really know where to start with the script. And I would love to have some inspiration, right? Because with Tube Spanner, they want, you know, creators to still create. Yeah. Sure. So because of that, it's not like, hey, make a video about this. And then you just, you know, read that script word for word. The idea is that you put in the topic of the video and then Tube Spanner is going to give you a starting script. I mean, you could technically use that if you wanted to, but with ChatGPT, for example, if you use that, it just gives you the full script and you know there's not really much you can do with it. But with Tube Spanner, it actually breaks your script down into different sections and you can tell it, okay, I want more in this particular area. Um, you can grab the side and you can say, you wanna move this section of the script up to this section and things like that. And then once you have that base script, then you can take that and then you can custom it to you know add your own voice and to you know make it more of something that you would make if you were writing your script yourself but yeah. it's a great place to get started sure. you know if you're somebody that just doesn't know you know how to write scripts or you don't really know the you know structure of a video and yep. things like that um, it's a great tool for that yeah, that's awesome so will, will it kick out you a hook too yeah Dang. Yeah, it does everything. Yeah, there's also um, like smart tokens is what they're called. Um, but basically, let's say that you have a catchphrase that you always use, wow. then you can just click into the script and you can say add catchphrase, and then it'll just add the catchphrase that you normally use. Dang. So you can put all these presets in, and then you can just inject them into the video whenever you want to. I personally have not used AI to like help me write a script. Is it pulling from like information on the internet? Like So uh, what it does is it uses chat GPTs uh, API okay. and then basically it builds that structure using that so it's using chat GPT for all the details um, and then it's taking that information and it's restructuring everything and then it's allowing you to keep 
making those calls into chat GPT and then, you know, adding, you know, different things. And then, you know, like I mentioned before, how you can move things around yeah. and all of that. So basically it's, it's using their API um, to pull that information in and then allows you to customize it. Dude, fire. Yeah, it's, it's cool. That's awesome. The next one, we've mentioned it on the channel before. It's called Opus. So for me, um, I do live streams. They're like three hours long. Um, like my minimum live stream is usually an hour unless it's news, then I'll kick those out quick. Um, but you can load videos into it. You can load live streams into it. You can grab the link from, directly from YouTube and then you paste that into Opus and you hit go and then it spits out a bunch of uh, shorts. And with that, like for my live streams, because they're about three hours, um, it'll give me usually around like 40 something to 50 shorts that I can use to publish, you know, onto multiple platforms over the course of 30 days that took a channel that had zero short traffic, like 100% zero. Um, and I was able to generate a quick and easy 22 and a half thousand views um, just from that, from just uploading, That's taking wild. something that I've already made. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just repurposing it. You, you guys have videos about, you sure. know, taking, you know, one piece of content and turning it into a bunch of pieces right. of content. We pay people to like be doing that. Right. And, hey, now you can do it 15 minutes. You don't even have to wait for it. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. Uh, that's awesome. So the volume that this person that gets paid to do all these vertical videos could increase for sure. Right. And it adds captions. So, yeah. I mean, that's important to mention too. Dude. Yeah. It adds captions. So then you also don't have to spend the time, load them into your phone, adding the captions to it or using whatever software. Like it does all of that stuff automatically. Dude. Opus. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Sorry, video editors. No. Right. <laughs> I mean, hey, no one needs to know your process. Yeah, right. They just need to know you're doing the work. Right. Right. So, hey, if it's taking you a tenth of the time. <laughs> right. Right. And this fifth one is 11 labs yeah so with 11 labs the cool thing with that is they have it to where you can train it with your own voice so that if you choose to let's say you're doing a screen recording or you have some b-roll going and you're thinking to yourself oh man i wish i would have said this or i didn't even say anything for this part or my camera audio went bad my microphone lost its battery or you do a brand deal and they say, hey, can you touch on this feature? Yes. You already shot the video. Great use case. Okay. Yeah, and you do you know, those sorts of scenarios, then what you can do is you can have 11 Labs train your voice and then you can just type in what you want it to say and then it will give you, you your own voice back that you can add to your videos. And then in addition to that, it also has the option to choose a bunch of different voices as well. So let's say that you are making a video and one of the fun things that I've done um, is I am talking in the video and then I pause and I kind of look off and then I bring in a narrator. And it's like, oh, at this time, you know, Nick wishes that he did this, yeah. right? And it's just a way to, you know, just kind of, um, you know, pattern interrupt yes. and kind of break up the pace of the video yep. and, you know, give yourself an opportunity to kind of break that experience and then pull people back in. Then that's really cool. So those are five AI tools uh, that will blow up your workflow. Uh, check out the links in the description below. And I appreciate you for taking some time and uh, blessing the community, man. Yeah, thanks for having me on, man. Super appreciate it.